I'm only human. There's a huge world of video games out there, and every once in a while, one of them slips completely beneath my radar. It happens more often than I'd like to admit, but oftentimes validation and rectification are but a download or a used game store away. Not in this case, though. I missed the original Shantae for the Game Boy Color back in 2002. Yes, a GBC game in 2002. And by the time it had reached cult classic status, copies were already going well into three figures. Even today, you're hard-pressed to find one for less than 150 bucks. For eight years, the story of the adorable, heroic half-genie girl would lay dormant. Then in 2010, WayForward rubbed the lamp again and gave us Shantae Risky's Revenge for DSiWare, recently ported to iOS devices. This all-new adventure costs 12 bucks, which is exorbitant for Nintendo's download service, until you realize that 12 bucks still represents just 8% of the price of the Game Boy Color version. I think you can suck it up. So to make amends for nearly a decade of neglect, I laid down the cash, fired it up, and pitied myself for not doing this sooner. There's some preamble involving characters from the first game, delivery of an egg, and an enormous bowel movement, but I'll spare you the scatological details. Point is, a magical lamp is unearthed, and as the professor from Mischief Makers is panicking, trying to prevent the crowd from thinking it's some important, all-powerful relic or something, the evil pirate queen Risky Boots swoops down, grabs the artifact, and makes her escape. So as to prevent her unlocking the true power of the lamp and making good her revenge, like it says in the title right there, Shantae has to track down and collect the three magic seals before Risky Safety can get to him. Her primary weapon is her hair, and I'm torn between making a Willow Smith or Amelia Rage joke here, so just perceive whichever you'd prefer. As she is a half-genie, she can also obtain magic spells to augment her offense, as well as other beneficial items like health and magic potions. But none of that compares to the power of dance, which turns her into a monkey or an elephant or something, thus opening up more platforming options. Or swimming options in the case of her mermaid transformation. While the game itself is a little on the short side, the breadth of gameplay is admirable. There's a real sense of exploration. The best kind, like you get in Metroid or Mega Man X, where you can't help but try to climb every wall, break every block, or engage in monkey mode and try to fit into that tiny crack right there. I could spend far too many words just describing the level of quality we're dealing with, but I'll try to be brief. The sprite art is absolutely beautiful, the backgrounds are detailed and lush, the foreground background jumping effects add a unique dimension to the action, the soundtrack is amazing and just retro enough to scratch that particular itch, the mechanics are so tight you could bounce a quarter off the engine and make change, and refreshingly the game absolutely refuses to take itself too seriously. Great games don't have to, fun is the order of the day, and I don't think I've had this much outright fun in a long time. It's a little bit Zelda 2, a little bit Castlevania, a little bit Disgaea, and a lot of adorable. Some have called Shantae Risky's Revenge the best DSiWare game ever. After spending some quality time with it, finally, there's not a doubt in my mind that she's run away with that title. 